What's up guys, Astrax here. Today I'm going to show you on how to complete all the tiers at the shooting range inside of your bunker. It's going to be a super easy three star, so I hope you guys do like this. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Before we start the gloats, there's some things that you can get, which is pretty cool. So for tier one, you can get metallic gold and metallic platinum tint for the Mark II weapons, both costing $100,000. And you guys also get grenades available in the alcove. Now for the second tier, you can get increased thrown weapon capacity by five units. So normally whenever you get maxed out sticky bombs, you guys can only hold 25. But if you complete the tier two, you can then start holding 30, which is pretty cool. The jerry can is not counted. Now for the grenade launcher, it's available in the alcove. Now for tier three, you can see on the screen right here, it's just basically clothing that you can unlock, which is pretty rare because not a lot of people have all these challenges complete. Let's go ahead and get into the glitch. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is find a gun locker. When you do get to the gun locker, you're gonna have everything set to hide all, including the melee weapons, the pistols, machine guns, rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, and then once you get to the heavy weapons, make sure you have everything set to hide except the minigun or the Widowmaker. You can have both of these set to show if you want, but I don't think the Widowmaker works for all of them. I know the minigun does, so if you guys just want to have that set to show all the time, you can. But when your minigun is set to show, you're going to back out, go to explosives, and then go to tear gas, and make sure that's set to show, but everything else is set to hide. When the tear gas is set to show and your minigun is set to show, you can then back out of your gun locker and then go to the shooting range inside your bunker. After you make it to the gun range, pull up your interaction menu, go to health and ammo, click on disable custom weapon loadout. When that is disabled, you're then gonna walk up here to the shooting range, press right on the D-pad, and then if you're on Xbox, press A to use the shooting range, or if you're on PlayStation, press X, and then it's gonna show you the challenges. Go ahead and choose the challenge you want. So there are three of them that don't work, at least for me they don't, they could work for you, but for me, the SMG, the assault rifle, and the carbine rifle do not work for some reason, but everything else does. So so say if you go to the pistol and you guys want to complete all three of those stars, once the timer does count down, pull up your interaction menu, click on health and ammo, and then click on enable custom weapon loadout. And then you'll see that the minigun does pull out and then just start shooting the targets. And you can see that your score just starts shooting up rapidly. And there you go, I completed the score super easily. So the target score is 680, and my score with the minigun is 1,700. That's pretty much it, that's all you guys gotta do. To sh and I'm gonna show you what you have to do so then you guys don't mess up and you guys just don't start another challenge right away. What you gotta do is back out, pull up your interaction menu again, go to health and ammo, click on disable custom weapon loadout now, then you're going to go back into the shooting range and do the process again. So if you guys completed the pistol one, then you should be good. Now go to the next one and you can see that it has the MG out. You're just going to wait until the counter, the time counter goes down, pull up your interaction menu, click on health and ammo, and then click on enable custom weapon loadout. The minigun will shoot, pull out again, and then just start shooting the targets. And you can basically just complete all of them just like that. And there you guys go. I barely beat it by 315. It's pretty easy once you guys start getting the hang of it. You guys may fail once or twice, but it's pretty hard to fail once you do have the minigun. It's pretty much it. So I hope you guys do like this glitch. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.